Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll take a sneak peek inside the wealth of the Pritzker family. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Let's dive in. We live in an era of truly incredible wealth and vast inequality between the richest billionaires and everyday middle class people. The 25 richest families in the world have a combined net worth of $1.1 trillion. The Pritzker family is the 15th wealthiest family in the world with a combined $33.5 billion net worth. A.N. Pritzker was the son of Ukrainian immigrants. He began investing in real estate and companies in trouble while he worked for his dad's law firm. Those original investments started the fortune of one of America's oldest dynasties. The modern Pritzker family fortune is tied to the Hyatt Hotel chain and the Marmon Group, a conglomerate of industrial service and manufacturing company which was sold to Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. Past holdings have included the Superior Bank of Chicago, which collapsed in 2001, Braniff Airlines, McCall's Magazine, the TransUnion Credit Bureau, and Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. The Pritzker family is based in Chicago and has 11 billionaire members. Many still have stakes in the publicly traded Hyatt hotel chain. Only Thomas, the hotel's executive chairman, still works for the company. The rest of the family is mainly diversified after spending most of the 2000s fighting over various family trusts. Hyatt Hotels reported over $5 billion in annual revenue in 2022. A.N. Abram Nichols Pritzker was born January 6, 1896. He was the son of Ukrainian Jewish immigrants who moved to Chicago from Kiev in 1881. His father Nicholas worked as a pharmacist and later as an attorney. A.N. graduated from Harvard Law School and joined his father's law firm Pritzker & Pritzker along with his brothers Harry and Jack. In 1936, A.N. and Jack left the law firm to invest in real estate and small companies in the Chicago area. Harry continued to run the law firm, which eventually became an in-house firm that dealt solely with the needs of the Pritzker family and their businesses. The family shielded their earnings from taxes through a complicated network of trusts, which allowed them to distribute money as they chose. After A.N.'s son Jay Pritzker died in 1999, those trusts became the subject of a more than decade-long legal fight between various members of the family, but we'll get into that in a minute. The story of the Pritzker fortune goes way back to the 1800s. Everything started with Abraham Nicholas Pritzker, who was born in 1896 and later died in 1957. He is considered the patriarch of the family enterprise. Abraham was the son of Jewish immigrants, who migrated from Kiev to Chicago in the year 1881. He attended and graduated from Harvard Law School, which led him to joining the law firm owned by his father Nicholas. There were two brothers of Abraham, Jack and Harry. These brothers were also part of the law firm, but they left in 1936 to pursue investments in real estate and other small businesses within Chicago. After marrying to Fanny Dopelt, they had their sons Jay, Robert, and Donald. Jay and Robert went on to found the Marmon Group in 1953, which became a large American industrial holding company and massively contributed to their wealth. Donald went to work for the Marmon Group in 1961 after graduating from law school, before he later helped develop the Hyatt Hotel empire that had been established by his brothers Jay and Robert in 57. This led to its ultimate success, as Donald purchased a new hotel in Atlanta that had an unusual layout, which became the architectural blueprint for future Hyatts. Now this is where J. Robert, or J.B. as he's commonly known, comes in. He is the son of Donald Pritzker. J.B. was instantly born into extreme wealth, along with many other cousins. The family rests at 11 members who are billionaires, and many of them still have stakes in the publicly traded Hyatt hotel chain. Before Jay Pritzker died in 1999, he had set up some lump sum payments that would get paid to his family. Unfortunately, this led to an ugly dispute between his children and their cousins. They later decided to settle the lawsuit, and each of the 11 members received around $1 billion each. The Pritzker family, being wealthy, has the means to own and enjoy a wide range of luxury cars. However, specific details about their personal car collection or preferences are not readily available to the public. As a prominent and affluent family, it wouldn't be surprising if they own high-end vehicles from prestigious automobile brands. Luxury car brands that are often associated with affluent individuals and families include Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche, Aston Martin, and many others. These brands offer a selection of high-performance vehicles, luxury sedans, sports cars, and SUVs that cater to the desires of discerning car enthusiasts. Given the Pritzker family's wealth and pension for luxury, it is likely that they have access to and may own vehicles from these prestigious brands. It is common for affluent families to own luxury yachts as a symbol of their wealth and to enjoy leisurely activities on the water. Luxury yachts offer opulent amenities, spacious living areas, state-of-the-art technology, and often come with a professional crew to ensure a seamless experience for their owners and guests. Prominent yacht builders such as Lursen, Feedship, Benetti, 
and Ocean Co. are known for constructing custom-made high-end yachts for wealthy individuals and families. These yachts can range in size with some exceeding hundreds of feet in length and offer luxurious features such as swimming pools, helipads, movie theaters, and lavish interior designs. It is reasonable to assume that the Pritzker family may own or have access to luxurious yachts. Given their considerable resources, it is reasonable to assume that the Pritzker family's homes are luxurious and situated in prestigious locations. They may own expansive estates, mansions, or penthouses, often featuring high-end amenities and exquisite designs. The family's real estate holdings extend beyond personal residencies, as they also have invested in commercial properties and hotels through their business ventures. The Pritzker family played a significant role in establishing and expanding the Hyatt Hotels Corporation, which operates luxury hotels globally. As a result, they may have access to exclusive accommodations within their own hotel chain. The exact locations and specific details of the Pritzker family's residences are not readily available to the public, as they prefer to maintain a level of privacy. Their real estate portfolio is likely diverse and reflects their affluent lifestyle and business interests. Pritzker served as Hillary Clinton's co-chairman during her 2008 campaign, but he had previously run for the U.S. House of Representatives in Illinois' 9th Congressional District, where he spent around $500,000 on regional TV advertising. In 2017, Pritzker wasn't done quite yet. He announced that he would run for the Democratic Party to become the governor of Illinois. During his campaign, he spent a whopping $42 million from his own fortune. At the end of the race, Pritzker ended up winning by over 20% compared to his opponents. The general election eventually showed that he had beat Republican Bruce Rauner at 54% to 39%. On the 14th of January 2019, he was sworn into office as the 43rd governor of Illinois. He shared a celebratory post on Instagram, stating in the description, I am honored and humbled to serve as the 43rd governor in Illinois history. I am excited to make Illinois a state that works for everyone. That was all from us today for this video, folks. See you in the next one.